Hello everybody, thank you so much for watching. My name is Alexander, I'm a Porsche certified sales professional at Porsche West Palm Beach and thank you so much for watching my YouTube videos. If you appreciate my YouTube walk-around videos, please consider subscribing to my channel, please hit that like button and feel free to comment down below. You can also contact me directly via cell phone or email with my contact information being in the video description. In today's walk-around video, we'd like to present you this spectacular new 2023 Porsche 911 Carrera T. This vehicle just arrived at our dealership. It's actually part of our new car inventory, which based on the current marketplace conditions, makes this specific vehicle a very special opportunity. So please contact me directly via cell phone or email if you're interested in this Porsche 911, as there's very few allocations out there for the new 911 Carrera T. The Carrera T is a model that Porsche also produced on the model year uh, 2018 and 2019 of the 991 Generation 2, a very pure specification Porsche 911. And in today's video, we're going to highlight, of course, some of those purest options as the car comes from the factory. Also, we're going to lo look at the build specifications on the specific car in general, with the options on both the outside as the inside. This one is one of the most highly optioned Carrera T's that I've ever seen. So uh, let's uh, start a walk around with the outside. This one finished in racing yellow, the very beautiful sporty yellow color on the Porsche 911. Again, the Carrera T introduced as a model year 2023, but the 992 in general was introduced in the US here as a model year 2020. Next to the racing yellow on the outside, this one also has the sport design package in high gloss black. Now, Normally the Carrera T would use the original front fascia from the 911 uh, Carrera models, but in this case with the sport design package, we have a sport design front fascia redesigned from the original bumper design to the front uh, sport design front fascia, which is the same as the GTS trim level of the Carrera models. In this case is the high gloss black version, so you can see the lower front splitter painted in high gloss black and also around this area here of the intakes once again finished in high gloss black from the factory. Right behind it also you can see the front placed radiators again the sport design front fascia gives it the extra sporty styling on the specific vehicle. Also the headlights are upgraded these uh, the LED headlights are standard for the 992 generation 911 but in this specific case upgraded to the LED matrix design recognizable by the redesign of the actual lens in the middle section of course of the headlight also the lower section here has these specific lines which look very beautiful when the lights are on and of course also the script on the inside showing porsche led matrix system the next factory option on this specific vehicle are the wheels these are the carrera s design wheels which are standard for the t model but in this case painted by porsche in high gloss black 20 inches in the front 21 inches in the back looking very nice, especially with the T coming standard with the sport suspension. So you can see that the vehicle is lower than the standard Carrera models. That is again part of the standard equipment for the T and one of the reasons why this vehicle is more described as the purest 911 in terms of the driving behavior with the sport suspension giving the extra uh, tight handling. The next option here on the bottom section on the side would be the sport design side skirts. Also again finished in high gloss black, just that we saw on the front fascia of the vehicle. Another design cue of the T is that the mirror housing, as you can see, has been painted by Porsche in gray. That specific gray color only used for the Carrera T outside mirrors. One of the ways then, therefore, to recognize the T would be the color of the outside mirrors. And that same gray color is also used on the Carrera T specific model designation decal on the side. Specifically, the design by Porsche, design for the side of the vehicle indicating the Carrera T trim level and again kind of going back to the classic days of the 70s where the 911 tend to have those side scripts. Now the Carrera T of the previous generation the 991.2 2018-2019 model used the narrow two-wheel drive body but nowadays the 992 always uses the wider body setup so definitely very impressive in terms of the body width both in the front and rear looking very sporty. Getting here to the back, we can also see that this specific one has been upgraded to the exclusive design tail lights. Normally the middle section LED tail light going across finished in red, as you can see on the Stargar parked next to it. In this case clear as a factory option, looking also very sporty. And on the bottom section here we can see the sport design rear fascia. Again part of the sport design package on this car in high gloss black also the diffuser section. And then of course we see the sport exhaust system which is standard for the T with the exhaust tips finished in high gloss black. Uh, producing the beautiful sound from the twin turbo flat six 379 horsepower the same as the 911 carrera but again with the purest driving style especially with the manual transmission that this one has and the sport suspension it's not all about horsepower it's about the driving excitement 
Model designation, once again, finished in that same gray that we saw on the, on the decal on the side and the mirror housing. And then the Porsche letters inside the till light finished in uh, satin black. More gray can be found here also in these slats on the back. Normally the two-wheel drive versions of the 992 will have black finished inside slats. But again, for the Carrera T, Porsche paints those specific slats in gray. The same color again that we saw here on the model designation and on the decal and on the outside mirror housings. The specific one also equipped with the rear axle steering system. Again, one of the reasons why this is such a pure specification. Another factory option, which you might have spotted already here, is the carbon fiber roof. Once again, no sunroof option. You'll see most Carrera T's, also the previous generation, not having the, uh, the factory sunroof. And this one even more lightweight with the factory carbon fiber roof. Okay, so we talked about most of the details on the outside. We can also see the window trim, by the way, on this one is finished in high gloss black. So carbon fiber roof, which is beautiful, by the way, with the carbon fiber weave having that gray and blackish undertone. Matches very nicely with the window trim and with the gray used in the mirrors and uh, on the decal. This one also has the surround view camera system as a factory option. We'll get to that in a little bit later when it comes to the additional electronic features of this car. But again, manual transmission, sport suspension, carbon fiber roof. And then those specific de uh, design details on the outside make it truly stand out versus a Carrera S or a Carrera model. Okay, let's have a look on the inside. Well, we can see that this one is equipped with the GT Sport steering wheel with carbon fiber finish. So you can see that the spokes going to the uh, three and nine o'clock and six o'clock position are finished with a matte finished carbon fiber. Looking very nice. The seats themselves are 18 way sports seats plus as a factory option, covered in full black leather. Now you can see also the black leather has been applied on the dashboard and on the door panels. So definitely a beautiful, uh, luxurious interior for this uh, specific vehicle. And then also with this one having the factory option deviated stitching package. You can see once again finished in yellow, all the beautiful stitching on the black leather on both the seat, as on the steering wheel, as on top of the dashboard, and top of the door panel, middle section of the door panel. A full deviated yellow stitching package matching beautiful with the outside details. Again, I mentioned 18-way sport seats plus, so very adjustable seats in terms of lumbar support, side support, the ability to change the length of the seat also with the control of a button. And it is also combined here with the uh, memory functionality. You might have already spotted also, this one has the Burmester speakers as a factory option. Once again, one of the reasons why this is likely one of the most highly optioned queries currently for sale here in the United States. Again, the Burmester 3D surround sound, the full black leather, the deviated stitching, the carbon fiber roof, very high spec car. You can also see the yellow has been applied on the factory option instrument dial and on the sport chrono clock on top of the dashboard. Now also specific to the Carrera T would be the inlay and the dashboard and then the doors, which is finished in high gloss black, just like the previous generation. You can see the high gloss black uh, right there here in the door panel around the uh, dashboard area going all the way across and also here around the center console. Once again, finished in high gloss black. These seats, by the way, are also ventilated and heated as an extra luxury. Let's uh, quickly go inside, see if I can get this angle for you. Again, there we have the instrument dial, the beautiful yellow stitching, the sport chrono clock in yellow, the stitching also here around the gear selector. Now the T is available in both PDK as manual. Now again, most T's ordered in a manual transmission. And you can see it's a seven speed. It's also a short shifter, the same as we now use on the GTS. So it's a different transmission uh, length uh, in terms of the gear selector than for example, a manual Carrera S which the Carrera is no longer produced as a manual. So it's the T and the S and the GTS that are the three manual transmission uh, Carrera models currently in the Porsche lineup. You can also see the cup holder here in the middle. Again, the seat ventilation, as I mentioned. Beautiful spec. Love the combination of colors with the gray, the black and the yellow accents all around. Also, by the way, we see here the front axle lift system has been equipped on this vehicle. And here, of course, we have the controls for the Porsche Sport Exhaust System. Also, the seat belts are finished in yellow. This is a brand new Carrera T, currently 15 miles on the odometer, which is the normal mileage after the PDI, the pre-delivery inspection, and the vehicle has been uh, gassed up in the fuel tank. Again, I mentioned the yellow seat belts. Now, when you do the 18-way seats, you uh, also have here, as you can see in the back, no back seats on the T, so the same as the GT cars like a GT3 or GT3 RS. Again, one of the reasons why it's such a pure specification is the deletion there of the back seats, manual transmission, sport suspension, 
carbon roof and then the deletion of the back seats a true true sports car thanks so much for watching this youtube video again my name is alexander porsche certified sales professional at porsche west palm beach please contact me directly via cell phone or email if you like this porsche 911 security so we can confirm the availability the pricing and again of course the full specifications let's do a final walk around again i want to thank you for watching this video keep sharing the porsche passion hit that like button subscribe to my channel if you like the content that i'm producing and thank you so much for the loyalty in the years that some of my subscribers have been watching my videos. Thank you so much once again. Please be safe out there and see you next time. Bye-bye.